mistaken with oh I didn't have my mortgage 30 years um I, I established good credit history I didn't have my car note for seven years I signed up for a seven year car note payment I've been making my payments on time I ain't missed no payments some months I didn't did double up payments so my credit history is great I didn't have my credit card for nine years I ain't missed no payments everything's going good but there's different factors that goes into this now when they talk about your credit history they're talking about the average amount of years that your credit history is so that's what we're going to talk about today the average amount of years of your credit history it's not what each credit line how long you had it it's the makeup of your whole credit portfolio of your open credit lines. So if you've seen one of my previous videos, you understand that I talked about the vehicle before, why your credit score goes down in most cases once you pay off your car loan after having that car loan for seven years and paying it on time each month just like you're supposed to. And why they say to do not close your credit card um, after X amount of years. Do you all know the reason why you shouldn't close your credit card? Well, a lot of people don't. What they would say is, oh, well, because it's um, your oldest line of credit and you don't want to close it. But why? Why? That's the key here. See? The, all three of these credit lines, there's something different in between between the three of these. I want to know, do you know what it is? What's the difference between the three of these credit lines? Let's say you're paying on time on each one of these. Every month is due. You on time. Sometimes you even double up on payments. But if you can choose which one of these that best support your credit portfolio, which one would you think that it would be? And why? All right. So look, here we go. Now, what we want to do is, let's say you have a credit card. You done had your credit card for nine years. We're not going to pay attention to these two lines of credit just yet. So you have your credit card for nine years. Now, is this all that you have right here on your credit? Nine years, credit card. That's going to show, since we're talking about just credit history today, that's going to show an amazing amount of credit history on your credit report. It's going to show nine years of on-time payment, strong credit history. Any creditor sees that, they're going to love that because you have longevity of paying on-time bills over an extensive amount of time, which is nine years. Now, you didn't have this uh, credit card nine years and whatnot. Your car broke down. Let's say you got a clunk or you're driving it broke down and you want to go get a new vehicle or you want to surprise your wife for her birthday or Christmas or your kids, whatever the case may be. You need a new family vehicle. So you go down to the dealership and you go look find what car you want now you didn't got that nice family vehicle right so what you just done was open up a new line of credit so instead of you having this one credit account right here now you have two open lines of credit we're not paying attention to these years just yet so you have two open lines of credit sharing the same nine years because you haven't had your car payment payment. So what happens is they share these amount of years right here because you haven't had this for years yet. So now when you have this for a year, so next year come around, your credit history report will say nine year, 10 years for your credit card because a year have passed, one year for your car. 
So that would be 10 years plus one year equals 11 years. So now your credit report not going to say nine years no more or 10 years. And it say 11 years divided by two. So that leaves you with 5.5 years. You would say, well, hold on, hold on, hold on. I've been paying this bill for nine plus years on time. And now my credit report doesn't state that I have nine plus years. No, what it is is your credit card have nine plus years. Your car only have one year. So what you do is you have to add the amount of years up of all your credit, open credit lines, and then divide it by how many there are. So there you'll get your average um, year of your credit history. And that's what they go off, your average. So in order for these two now to become favorable, you have to have this car um, loan for seven years in order for you to start getting the, the largest bump in your credit score. But what happens on that seven year, because a lot of us get seven year car loans, you pay that car, um, you pay that car note off. And then so those seven years drop off of your credit report. Then now you will be back over here to just having this on your credit. Now your credit history will go back up. So that's how, what goes into your credit history reporting. So now I have the home right there is because a lot of us, when we go apply for home loans, we get home loans for 30 years. 30 years we have home loans. So now imagine you've been paying your home loan, your mortgage on time every month, 30 years. Sometimes you even double up on your payment. Now, you didn't get to the 30-year mark. You got two months until your last payment. And your credit report is showing 30-plus years of good history, right? So what happens right here is once you make that last mortgage payment, this 30 years will fall off your credit report. So... When it fall off your credit report, and then you go to look at your credit score 30 days later, and you say, hold up, hold up. Somebody needs to tell me something. My credit score was just 750, 785. Now my credit score is 720, 700, or lower, whatever the case may be. Um, somebody needs to explain, because I didn't do nothing wrong. I paid my bills on time. Now it's, it's jacked up. So what happened here in this situation is every year you was paying your bills on time. It was building up credit history. Once you got to your fifth and sixth year, you got to bump up in your credit score due to you paying your credit history on time. You got to your seventh year, you got another extra bump. Once you got past nine years, you received your max amount of bump for this credit line. It goes for the same for each of them, but I'm just talking about your mortgage right now. So you receive the highest bump for your credit history here once you hit nine plus years. So after you pay your last payment off, that no longer becomes an open credit account. So what happens is it closed. So therefore, it doesn't exist on your credit history because it no longer show you paying on that uh credit uh, account. So therefore it's gone. So that 30 plus years is gone. So a lot of people rely on their mortgage to build their credit and say, oh, a home is one of the biggest credit builders or whatever. Don't fall for that trap. That's why when I asked you in the beginning of the video, what's the difference between these three credit lines right here, these three accounts? So the difference in these three accounts is your credit card is what's called a revolving line of credit. So once I pay this credit card off, the balance each month, I still have that credit available to me. So it still shows on my um, credit report. So therefore, that's why they say do not never close your credit card because it will always be there 
to show your years, your credit history. And once this hit nine plus years, you will receive the highest percentage, the highest amount of points possible on your credit report for having this credit card, this credit account. Now, these right here are years that I wrote down just to give you a picture of where you stand and whatever account that you personally may have on your credit report. So if you have a new credit account and it's four years and under, you will not receive the max points for that account. It does not matter what it is. Four years or under, you will receive points as you, it's an A, B, C. Anything under four years is a D. Now, you right here, five to six years of having open account, which is a lot of people fall under with their vehicle loan, that's when you start receiving a significant bump in the points that you are generating on your credit report. Now, once you pass six years, you get to seven. Seven, you're going to see the highest bump that we see received out of all of these. Then when you get to nine plus years, you're maximizing your points in whatever credit account it, it may be. Credit card, a car loan, or a mortgage. Now, back to the car loan. If it's your only... A uh, line of credit, which is a lot of people who I've helped in the past, I've seen that car loans were like the only thing because some people do not believe in credit cards and most people do not own a home yet. So to answer that question that's out there about when your credit score go down as far as when you pay off your car, to touch upon that again, a lot of us get seven-year car notes. I'm talking about the masses. Seven-year car notes. And you can see right here, you don't receive the highest bump until you hit seven years. But when you get to seven years and you pay that off, all that credit history is gone. So you start back down here under four, which is at zero. So that's why your credit score takes a bump. So I hope I was able to um, answer a lot of the question that was, questions that was out there and clearly talk about each one of these to satisfy your credit appetite um and just to throw this out there too again thank you all for staying but whenever you choosing your credit your line of credit it's best to build the backbone the structure the foundation of your credit with revolving credit and if you hate credit cards credit cards are not the only forms of revolving credit you can open up a checking line of credit also with your banking institution. So you can look for, forward to that, go talk to your bank, ask them what type of check line of credit opportunities they have. If they don't have any, you can go to a different institution. But just a brief recap, revolving line of credit, installment credit, installment credit. This credit history gonna fall off once you pay your mortgage off in 30 years. This credit history gonna fall off once you pay your car note off in seven years. This credit history will always remain, so never be late on this, always be on time. And also, these years right here is when your credit score will take the drastic bump, a plus or a minus. Anything under four is not good, five to six is okay, seven to nine is best. Anything over nine, you're, you're, you're in, in the professional league. So... Thank you all for stopping through, family. Come back and see me soon. It's your boy, Money Mill Blender.